I'm Rico G, and you're watching Music on 3. Rico, what's up, man? How you doing? What's up? What's Thank you for on? coming on. Thank you for coming on the show, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate you having me. No Glad problem. Here. No problem. No problem. Why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Where you Where you from? Chicago? Yeah, I'm from Chicago. I'm from the South Side, Roseland area. Um, Wild Hunt is what they'll call it, but it's really a community, nonetheless. Yeah. Like yeah. West Farnwood. West Farnwood. Yeah. Are you still there right now? Uh, no. No. Where do you live at now? Uh, somewhere to where in Broadview. Broadview? Yeah. Just All back right. and forth to Chicago, though. Okay, cool, cool. So how long have you been uh, performing? Um, I've been, like, doing, I guess, little type shows. But nonetheless, I perform acts since, I guess, the age of six from, like, plays, theaters, things like that, arts, crafts. Stuff at school and stuff, you know? Yeah. Just being young and adventurous, but I love the arts. Like young and adventurous, you know, and you love you love the arts. Yeah, I love the arts. I really got at first. I wanted to, you know, draw. I was always used to draw when I was little, uh -huh. like kindergarten, you know, and even before that, pre K. You know, I sucked at it, but you know, it was like the what other up on the fridge. What other um form of arts do you like besides uh rapping and and drawing? I love um writing. Writing. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Is there a process in your whole writing when you're when you're in that mode? Because I know a lot of artists when they when they write they like have lyrics. their own style of writing and their own like mm -hmm. mode when they're writing. What What would you consider yours? What What do you do when you write? It's really unorthodox. Yet, like I still make it. Right. I gotta make it make sense. So it depends on you know what everybody say the mood mm -hmm. of the song. But I would, I wouldn't say the mood. I would say the theme of it, you know, cause. Do you have to be inspired to write, or is it just something that comes naturally? That's more natural. Yeah. Being who, that I did it for so long. Who, uh, who do you consider somebody you know that inspires you as an artist? Mm -hmm. Inspire me as an artist, like yeah. just overall. Yeah, like, overall, yeah. living dead. You know, famous, not famous. Who do you consider that's like an inspiration to you when it comes to? You know, you being an artist. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne? Yeah. Okay, cool. Like, he wasn't the first one I listened to that got me, like, really into music. Or Who was that? Into. It was Chris Brown. Chris Brown? Yeah. So you're more of a Chris Brown fan than a Lil Wayne fan right now? Yeah, Chris, well, Chris Brown, he really wanted me, like, well, he didn't, he didn't know me. <laughs> uh, it was more so he had me wanting to, you know, dance and sing, act. Things like that, but when I, you know, when I got used to the old DJ and certain old little Wayne songs, and I found out it was him, I'm like, that. That's what I'll be. I wanted to rap, like. So. So if you were, if you had an opportunity to like perform with an artist, living or, or past, who would it be? Would it be Chris Brown, Lil Wayne? It would be Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Why well, not? Not Chris Brown. <laughs> you seem a little conflicted about those two. I gotta get both of them. Like it was like they the best of friends themselves. So okay, cool, them. cool. So if you collab, we'll be one of them. Yeah, that's what's up. Let me ask you a question. Do you prefer performing for like you know big crowds? Because I know a lot of artists, and I know a lot of them have their own preference when it comes to when they perform, how they perform. So I'm gonna ask you, what's your preference when it comes to performing? Would you prefer to perform in front of like a huge crowd or would you prefer just performing in a booth? But that's a big difference. I would say a crowd. So you're, you're like a crowd, so when you, like, you like feed off the crowd and stuff? Yeah. Okay. That'll really give me hype, especially knowing if it's a large crowd. And I'm knowing I'm here off of what I've, off of what I've done with my music. Mm -hmm. And then these, these are the same people. I don't really have to sing, I sing myself for me. Right. No, really that's true. You know, that's true. They do that. That's a fun experience. I like it when they're like, when time ask the audience to sort of sing along with them. Yeah, you know, like just easily just walk up to a fan, like right. pass them the microphone if they want to sleep and bring them on stage. Like I dream of doing stuff like that. Is that one of your better best parts of like being an artist? It's like moments like that? Mm, it's one of them. So what what are some of your favorite parts of being an artist? Uh I guess the 
The process. The process? The pro so the process of actually making a song? Yeah, like actually wanting to make music, the reason why you're doing it, and then like going through it actually with mm -hmm. trying to execute basically. Trying to see it go from like yeah, like handwritten on the paper to like being it, you know, being on this final like recording or something before it's mastered. Yeah. You like that whole process from the beginning. I love that. That's what's up, man. So well, who got you into music? Was it just like you woke up one day as a kid like, Mom, I wanna be a, an artist? No, like I was six years old. Stop the Yard came out around that time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, bro. I remember Chris Brown off dancing. I didn't know he sang until like I found that. out like one of his songs. Him singing, it. it was Give Me That around that time. He's laughing like, because that's his, that's what that's his favorite came. too. Word? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? That's dope, man. That's cool. That's real, real cool, man. Tell me about Boa. Boa was made up about last year. It was um one of those things, multiple meaning type things where I'm from. You'd be like, Boa. You know, B O A, and it's kind of relatable to. Oh, so it has a dual meaning. No, nah, yeah, dual meaning. Okay. So, kind of related to, you know, it also refers to, you know, four constrictor as well, but get on to that later. I hear you. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Cool, man, let's hear it. Better watch out, boy. Be from this block, boy. Like you watch your socks, boy. So watch your mouth, boy. Yeah, I'm from the south, boy. Used to be in them jobs, boy. Fill out, go back, got it, got about me an OG, I own house, boy. So stay in your lane, kid. Just mind your business. Come get in here, just why haters and they feelings. Chef, boy, I'll be whipping up in the kitchen. No joke, but motherfuckers, they gon' get this. And by this I mean work, nigga, first things first Let me thank God and the devil for this blessing that's a curse Fuck your feelings if they hurt By these words that I spoke in this time So wake up anyway and bitch, I've been awoken When extreme to my breaking point Then I got all broken to myself Back together and then became woken Like the hearty house, I got hard like Jeff But I don't care like Matthew These haters, they mad at me Why they girls on me like vacuums And yeah, she cleaned the carpet Don't worry, I keep it sharp, bitch I've been real good in pamper since a shawty, although I didn't have the precious bits, I couldn't afford them. Same clothes, same shoes, jackets, coats, monthly. No for having to give it to me to take it from me. Now I'm coming back for it, take it more just for the taking. I made myself history, literally in the making. I've been waiting in the waiting, so much patience, but I'm impatient. Better watch out, boy. Be from this block, boy. Thank you, watch your socks, boy. So watch your mouth, boy. Yeah, I'm from the south, boy. Used to be in them jobs, boy. Feel off the back, gotta get about me an OG, I own house, boy. So stay in your lane, kid. Just mind your business. I'm getting it, just why haters and they feelings. Shell boy, are you whipping up in the kitchen? No joke, but motherfuckers, they gon' get this. And by this I mean work, nigga, tryna get you hurt. Eat the knock on your ass of six feet into the dirt. You kitty with them water guns, run a long little swerve. Little truck tryna play that boss role, but never was employed. But I'm the one who put my all in this and really put in work. Snakes in the grass, boy, they tryna constrict me on my birth. No extortion, no a hip is dead before the sign. Now these niggas always tryna be something they not. It be they fucking problem. Your pops wasn't in your life, that's why you always start shit. Pillow talking, pump faking like you want. Some shit. My poxy wasn't in my life, that's why I'm partially hard. He made mistakes on his own though, so that's his loss. But anyway, I'm really focused on helping my mom now. Some fake niggas did her wrong, but I told her I got her. Little fingers to you motherfuckers who don't matter. I may be an artist, but I'll put your red paint on this platter. Leave it splatter, disappear into the shadows. You wouldn't be able to stand me if we wasn't a standoff. I'm such a stand up guy, but too witty for stand up. Bitch, I ain't no Mr. Funny guy, don't get your head off. Thinking shit sweet with me, cause when you stand, you're laid there. And I don't play fast, sometimes you gotta get down and dirty just to remain here. And I don't feel you if you bleed just like me. So you better watch out, boy. Be from this block, boy. Now you watch your socks. So watch your mouth, boy. Yeah, I'm from the south, boy. Used to be in them jobs, boy. Fill up a bag, gotta get about me and OG, I own house, boy. So stay in your lane, kid. Just mind your business. I'm getting it, just why it is in their feelings. Shell boy, I do living up in the kitchen again. No joke, motherfuckers, they gon' get this. Rico, man, that was great. That was great. Yes. 
Tell me a little bit about uh, Beef With Me. Beef With Me, um, of course, it'll be a sample of like Kanye and Jay-Z's uh, Gotta Have It. But it's more so towards, in my perspective, it's more so just the up and coming compared to what they were talking about on that on their version, which was, you know, million uh, ideas and things like that. I'm more so a hungry underdog, if you will. Okay, so. Cool, cool. Let's hear it. <laughs> Let's do it here like I could don't that, but won't give it unless you want that. Switch a beat for me, you scumbags. <laughs> 